Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Recently, Nissan announced that on December 10th, the Aria will have access to the Tesla Supercharger Network, and there is some interesting news that came along with that. Let's get into it. So if you haven't heard, Nissan went ahead and was letting all the Aria drivers know that December 10th, they will have access to the Tesla Supercharger Network and that they would be able to purchase the adapter and something else from Nissan for what I believe was $235. If I was wrong, I'll put it down here, but I'm pretty sure it's $235. Now the extra thing is this little tab and this tab inserts into this kind of gap where the charging port is for the Nissan Aria. And um, they say that you need that to be able to use a adapter, the Tesla adapter. And like all the other manufacturers, they've stated that you are not permitted to use third-party adapters. Um, so we, we, we know that it's been pretty consistent with all manufacturers. So that left a lot of people wondering about third-party adapters. And, you know, they're not going to come with this little tab thing that goes into the, the, the gap in the charge port if those would be able to charge. Well, A to Z commented on a, a post of mine on X and they cleared everything up and I kind of wanted to share this with you all. So I'm actually going to flip the camera around so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, everybody. So here is the Tesla adapter uh, made by Tesla. And in the middle between the two uh, where the DC pins go in, you can see there's this little tab that sticks up. And what happens is when you plug this adapter in, that depresses and that allows it to charge. And then I'm also assuming as soon as that kind of goes back a little bit, it'll stop the charge immediately uh, as, as a safety measure. And that's kind of how Tesla decided to manufacture this. Now, if we look at another brand, here I have the Electron one available. Um, I'll also show you the, uh, the A to Z, but there is no tab in there, no button. So... There's that, and then let me show you the A to Z. I have it stored in my bag here. Also, no tab in the middle. It's, it's hard to see because it's dark in there, but no tab in the middle. All right, so what does A to Z have to say about that? Well, they basically said that with that pin in the Tesla, they needed the little plastic thing. For theirs, and also I observed for electrons, you don't have that pin, so you don't need that extra piece of plastic in there to have something to press against. Um, so very interesting. So why do I bring this up? Well, as always, I recommend that if you're gonna use an adapter, you should use the, the Tesla one because at this point in time, for warranty concern and stuff like that, uh, you, you'll be sorry out of luck if you use the third-party adapter. However, I do think, think that the other adapters are safe to use, um, it's just, once they approve the um, the standard, or which I think it already has been approved, uh, I think I saw something there, or they're finalizing it. But anyways, once that is done, and maybe Tesla and the manufacturers start to say, yes, you can use third-party adapters, then you're not gonna need that tab. So if you wanna get this ahead of time and use this instead of the Tesla adapter, which is your choice, I'm not telling you to do that. I'm saying if you wanted to do that, you don't need that plastic tab, so you don't have to like look for it or 3D print it or anything like that, that the A to Z and the Electron will plug in perfectly fine. You know, it's not gonna like be unbalanced or anything. Like some people have said, it has nothing to do with how it latches in. It's literally so that that little button in the Tesla adapter gets pushed in. That's the only reason they have that there. So I hope you all found this video helpful. If you were deciding that you wanted to get one of these adapters, again, like I said, uh, I'm just gonna keep saying it, you know, use this until everything is approved. But if you want to not, and you wanna get this as fast as possible and order from A to Z, you can do that as well. If you wanna do that, I do have a code, uh, AVG, EV, average EV, AVG, EV, and you can get, I believe right now it's 5% off. They change it a bunch, so it's hard for me to say. It used to be 10, actually used to be 15 at one point in time, uh, but whatever. So you can use that to get a little bit off, and that is um, cheaper than the Tesla adapter that you would buy from Nissan to get the plastic tab. Uh, so again, I'm not telling you what to do. I recommend use this. It's the third time I've said it, and I keep saying it, uh, but that's it. So anyways, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please remember to give a like, a subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all next time.